Welcome back to another episode of Orchestra Graphics Tips and Tricks. Once again, my name is John Krajewski, and today I would like to introduce you to a new feature we added in InTouch 2014 R2. That feature is connectors and connection points. We introduced this feature to simplify the process of creating and maintaining process graphics. So in this example here up here in the process area, where I've got arrows and valves and uh, vessels and pumps that I need to interconnect with uh, with process lines, we wanted to make it simpler for you to be able to make these interconnections and to manage the graphic once it's been assembled and if you want to rearrange it, realign content, to make it much simpler to handle that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through an example here. So I'm going to come over here to this um, example symbol that I have where I've got a bunch of assets already dropped onto the screen. And what I'm going to show you here is that many of them already have connectors on them. So these are the connector points. See the, see the connector points here are marked in green. So to add a connector, I'm going to show an example. I'm just going to take a basic rectangle, and then I'm going to come over here to the connector tool, or connection point tool, excuse me, and then I can add this connection point either on the border, or I can add the connection point inside of this. And so when I have this connection point, they, they will reside wherever you place them on the, on the element, and then if you duplicate the element, um, you, they will continue to duplicate the connectors as well, so they become part of the element. So I'm going to delete those back off, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my interconnections. And here I'm also going to leverage the element styles. So I'm going to show you what type of a line. In my example here, I'm going to want to default to use what I'm what we call the secondary process line. Uh, process line secondary. Uh, with that as a case here is where typically uh, it is a lighter colored process line and then I use an animation to make it primary when it's active if I want to. So I've set my default element style so that's the element style that will be used for the connector and then I'll pick my connector tool. I will double click on my connector tool and that allows me to repeat. You can see that by the little plus sign that's in uh, that's next to my cursor here. And then I kind of go to, uh, in the arrow here, there is a built-in in the geometry at connection points. These are these little X's you see here. I can select any of those and then select to the connector. Uh, connection point. Then from connection point here, it's just a process of going from connection point to connection point, and the routing of the line will be automatically handled by the tool. And so here, I've gone ahead and finished off my valve assembly with those. I'll right click to, to stop my connectors, um, and then what I'll look at here is that, well, how do I manage it? How did it make managing it easier? So I'll show a couple examples. If I wanted to take these valves and align them, I don't like the fact that they're not aligned. If I wanted to make them aligned better, so I can then, let's say I want to align on 101. That's the primary alignment. I can tell because its its handles are blue versus the white ones here. And then I'll left align to that one. So that's the one. Now we're left aligned. You see, I didn't have to touch those connectors. They all, they all moved automatically. I'll do that again with 101, 102 and 105. I'll click again on 102 to make it pr my primary selection. Left aligned again, and now I've aligned those elements. If I wanted to uh, reduce the spacing here, if I needed extra space inside of the screen for other things, I can now move things around. So I'm going to move CV103, and then what I'll do is I'm going to lasso the bottom portion of this, man this manifold assembly, and I can move it up. What you see here is that that extra bit where I was able to align and move content around without having to actually uh, take apart or move or manually recreate those, uh, those process lines made it much easier to manage. And each one of these connectors you can individually animate. So you can add animations where if I wanted to change that element style from the primary process line, or from secondary rather to primary, then I can use this animation which can allow me to do that. We'll save that for another time uh, to take that into some more detail. Those are the basics of using connector points, and I'll show you a little bit more on how you can manage them. So I'm going to zoom out here and take a look at some things such as the types. So I'll select these, and then I'll zoom back in. So with, there are different type of connectors. So if I select the connector, and then I look over here on the properties, you'll see connection type. Here a connection type is shown as straight, pretty basic. If I move it around, it's a straight line from connection point to connection point. Pretty simple stuff there. Now if I show angled, so if I take this next one here, and you'll see that the connection type is angled. And I've intentionally shown you here that I've got the, the start point here at 1 and the end point at 2. You can just see here that there's a little circle uh, around here at the end point. That when I move something here, you can see where it where it breaks, where, it, where there's a, a built-in control point here near the start. 
And so then again, if I move this one here, you'll see that there's a built-in control point that's near the start. So you can see the difference of how it handles the start and the end point of those connection points. Now I'm going to zoom back out here. I'm going to zoom to normal. And I'm going to show you how to do things like manual routing. So I'm going to zoom back in on just that stuff for the manual routing. And I'm going to take an example here where I'm going to take my connector and I'm going to select it from the right-hand side of this to the left-hand side of that one. There's a lot of stuff in the middle that perhaps I didn't want to use, um, have it be in the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift key and you see my cursor has changed and there's a little plus sign there. That little plus sign will allow me to add control points. So I'm going to click here in several places to allow me to manage my control points. Then I can grab that connector and I can reshape its pathing um, through the system. And if I want to do that here, I can do it any which way I, I choose. And then once I've got the path the way I want, this will automatically stay connected and the manual, ma the manual portion of the path will stay where, it, where I told it to stay. So that's manual routing. Now I'm going to show you, going back to zoom to normal, around how some of the choices for automatic routing and how that works. So I will then zoom back in here on the selection, zoom to selection. I'm going to zoom a little bit back out to make it easier for me to see some of this. And I'm going to start on this simple point to point where I've got a couple of circles here where I've got a connector right in, excuse me, a connection point right in the center. So I'm going to grab a connector here and I'm going to just go from top to bottom there and let you know also that you can change this if you choose the other direction around you can see that it'll choose a different path so if it's often the if you if you don't get it the path you want and you switch the endpoints you'll find that it may give you the option you desire more simple ones here where the connection places are horizontal faces to horizontal faces it's pretty simple so I'm gonna go ahead and double click my connector point again and then you will see here how things basically line up quite easily. I'm going to go another simple one where it's vertical spa a vertical face here to a vertical face on the other side. And I'm going to continue drawing that out. So I'm going to go this way here this time. And you can see how that just kind of lines up like I want to. Now we're going to take an example where I'm going to connect from a horizontal face, so with uh, the horizontal face of this square here, to the vertical face of this one here. And I'm going to grab my connector tool and I'm going to connect from one to two. Pretty straightforward. And here's an example where I'm going to make a connector between those same two points, but this time I'm going to choose from the vertical face to the horizontal. And here's an example of how you might use this because this will allow you to do things like route around things. So if I'm going to choose this connector, again, go from the vertical face to the horizontal, and you can see it chose a different path for me. So you'll see that the connector tools are pretty, uh, pretty easy for you to use, pretty easy to get started with, and they should make managing your assets much easier in terms of your graphic assets. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of this, and we hope to hear from you in the comment section. Hopefully you'll subscribe, and if you have anything else you want to hear from us about, put it in the comments. Thank you very much for joining us, and we'll hope to talk to you soon. Bye.